this week, I'll be quite honest, I have no plan for. Uh, I'll only start this video in my happy place, uh, sat staring down the big long bonnet. Uh, she's not going to work or anything, uh, she's been parked up at customers where I've been doing the fail chopping. Uh, as regular ones know, she's got a bit of a, an issue, she's just not fit for running that. So I'm at the moment, I've got, to, well, well we'll start at the start of the day. Uh, I've been down to my mate's yard, which is where the top is parked at the moment, also broken. Uh, that's just that rear roller. So we've been head scratching out and having a look at, at that. Um, then I've got him to just drop me off at this customer's in order to, uh, to pick up the Smurf, who I'm going to run back to my yard now. And then I've got his little doits on my yard that I was going to use on the little hay baling job that uh, has been, well, they decided to cut losses on it. So, um, yeah, she seems to actually, she's actually been up there and done nothing. So I'm going to drag her back and then hopefully we are going to sort this topper out and get it right. Are you going to, ah, you're going to hug the, yeah, there we go. Yeah, she does take up a lot of this road. So yeah, that's the plan. Have a bit of fun with her, give her a bit of a road run and get her back to where she should be in park in the shed because I, um, I am terribly ashamed to admit that the last couple of weeks she's been parked outdoors. I hang my head in shame. A girl like this should not be left outdoors. But, uh, you know, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, other than having a dirty protest and redecorating the bonnet in black wet soot from what's gone down the exhaust, she's, uh, she's behaved herself, she's coped with it. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to be quiet and we're going to pick this up, hopefully back on my mate's yard, and we're going to show you what we're going to do to that roller to hopefully make it not break again. Um, yeah. The, um, wow, what a bad start to a video. <laughs> so, uh, been up to the bottom of Yorkshire um, to, uh, don't tell me I've got this wrong. No, don't think so, don't think so. No, we're right. Uh, to pick up a, well, new customer's new machine, which, by looking at the picture, you will have very least gathered is a crow. So, you figured out by the fact that I've picked up with a chopper, with a chopper, with a tractor, that it's not a chopper. Um, yeah, and when I get somewhere good to uh, pull up next up, I'm a, I'll give her a bit of a check over. Um, Right, we've just stopped again. Um, it's been quite a short journey between stops this time, mainly because uh, I come through Preston and obviously come through a busy city centre. It usually breaks a lot, and I was just concerned about the heat and hobs. I think the heat was just down to the brakes. But yeah, this this is um, this is what I'm hauling back. Uh, Chrome Big Pack 890, it's a 80B90, hence the 890, um, four string, big square baler. Yeah, they're feeling a lot better, there's a lot, certainly a lot less heat in them now. Yeah, it's, it's not a brand new machine, uh, 2018 model, um, pretty tidy though. Um, it's going to have to be a bit careful here because we're in a lot of room. Back. I'm just going to turn around there, I can see what's going to hit me. Uh, just while I keep an eye on, that's a bit... Yeah, obviously, um... Is he down in there? Uh, yeah, obviously, because this, I'm hauling this back quite some distance, um, I will put the distance sort of probably around here about now. 
Um, obviously, I need to stop a few times on the way, just make sure pubs aren't getting too hot, um, nothing's falling off, half nothing's dragging. Uh, oh, that was a tractor. But yeah, she's, she's, she's a tiny old machine. Um, I am hoping that he will let me loose on it. Have a look, have a look around the cab of this now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah this, this is a tractor. I'm just going to grab myself a drink while we've pulled up. Uh, it's a... Oh, same age as the Baylor, 2018 model, uh, Vulture T174, uh, it's the latest one with all the smart, smart touch, touch screen where you can go into various things and spin it round and look at that and yeah, put that back to my screen, yeah I mean that, that's quite nice to use, nice well laid out armrest. Uh, front linkage, but no front PTO. But what they have, what you have instead, which I've had nothing to do with yet, is what they call reverse drive. I don't know how you make it all work, though. But yeah, you've got a steering wheel and shuttle and everything there at the back, and obviously a little screen. So yeah, but I mean, it's quite a nice rig. So I'm going to grab myself a drink now. I was hoping to have a coffee but I've not found one yet on the way down here. So yeah, um, new toy. Hopefully my new toy, but we, we, we'll see. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not getting too excited yet. Bailey got 
got back safe. Uh, didn't do what I'd worried about, uh, you know, like an accident the bear and an accident getting off from an open big bridge near the end of the journey and leaving me stranded and upset. Uh, the Smurf got back to where she needed to be. does get confused about this, you can see this, this tractor on my topper, it isn't my tractor, it's just, he makes very kindly lent me the tractor to get the topping jobs finished off. As much as I would love to buy one of these, I've actually seen one that I really like and is um, more affordable than a lot of the others, it's still out of money. So anyway, I've rambled on and gone on about nothing for a while, so I suppose we should wrap this up here, so uh, don't forget, we have the merchandise on the shop, t-shirts might even be up there when you're watching this video, uh, they're somewhere between being, or, uh, being ordered and arriving, so hopefully they'll be on the shop soon. There's other great stuff on there, not just HSAG merchandise, there's also some really nice handmade uh, metal stamps and stuff. At the very least, go have a look, there might be something that, uh, that tickles your fancy. Um, yeah, so don't forget, if you have enjoyed this video, as is always, and they're looking quite, quite good today, don't forget to give it a grubby thumbs up. Um, don't forget, if you Oh yeah, don't forget, um, down there will be the um, link to the shop. Also down here somewhere will be a, a, a little button that says subscribe. If you do seem to enjoy watching my, my videos, uh, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button and don't forget to ring the little bell which is sort of down there somewhere. Uh, that way you will get a notification every time I put a video up. Videos are up 6 o'clock, Sunday morning, every morning. I seem to be managing it. Um, might be the odd exception. But yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to go check out the shop. And um, I'll see you next week.